We are here at Morningstar, excited to talk with the LaPrays, some of the newest residents here at Morningstar. They've been here three weeks. Three weeks. And how are, how are you adjusting? Very well. Yeah? It was hard at first. Nice place to be. It's hard to leave your home. Sure. But, yeah. She was like insistent it. that she not come. It was her house. She was kind enough to let me live there with her. <laughs> but it's her house. Yeah. And she didn't want to leave it. But, but you've adjusted. Right, and our granddaughter and her husband are going to buy it, so we're excited uh, to keep it in there. You can still visit. Oh, That's absolutely. great. That's great. Well, it is the holiday season, and we're surrounded by a tree and the fireplace. I, I'd love to know if you all have a favorite holiday memory that you could share with us. Carolyn's got one about uh, Christmas bicycle. Okay, let's hear it. I got a Schwinn bicycle from Santa Claus. I was so excited, I could just hardly contain myself. And then in the spring, a friend said, let's go for a ride on our bicycles. And so we rode up a hill, and then we went down a hill, and I was on my bicycle partway, ready to go, and she gave me a push. And I crashed on my bicycle and scraped my whole face up. It really knocked me out. And two ladies were sitting on their porch watching. And they thought, oh, she'll get up. I think she'll get up. We better go check. So they came over. It had knocked me out. Oh, no. And so anyway, they, I came to enough. They said, where do you live? And I said, 178 West Center Street. What happened and to your they, friend? The, she left. The friend left? Oh, oh absolutely. What soon a friend. As I, soon as I crashed, she was <coughs> gone like a, you know, whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, they put me in their car and took me to my mother, all bloodied up, and she took me up to the doctor. But I, I recovered. It's a gift, and, gift you've never forgotten. Oh, no. and. So did my bicycle. You got back on it? Oh, yes. Yeah. I did. How about you, Mr. LaPrade? I've got two quick stories to tell you. Uh, the first one is about uh, when we went up in the canyon to, to cut our own Christmas tree. And uh, our son, David, and his children, and we were there. And we finally found a tree. But uh, my grandson, Joel, who was about 10, very old. <laughs> nine or 10, uh, and, and Nathan, I think, were both there. And they were kind of throwing rocks down the mountain. And uh, I had on a woolen cap, but Joel threw a, a rock and hit me right there, oh. knocked me to my knees. Oh, man. Both of your memories involve pain. <laughs> and it uh, didn't really hurt me, but it shocked me, you know, and I was stunned for a minute and down on my knees. We didn't know if David was going to let him live or not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that was one memory. Um, another one was, uh, so we decided that we would go to take our condo, and we rented two or three others. We have six children. Mm -hmm. So all six children and their families at that time came to Bear Lake for Christmas. And we had, uh, we were there for a week, and we played in the snow and in the hot swimming pool and open presents. And had a great time. It was a fun, fun Christmas. We're going to learn more about the LaPrays. You might recognize them. They've been in the community for quite a while, so we'll have more. Catch us in a few weeks. Thank you. Mm -hmm.